Dear friends, how are you? I'm Lam Ping Fong. You have learned the basic operation skills of Photoshop before. And I also explained the secret of success to cut out images. That is to find a suitable face of direction to cover the avatar first. Take notice to the size ratio of the avatar. Cover the avatar to a suitable position. Finally, adjust the tilt angle of the avatar. In this video, we will learn and practice how to cut out. I will show you the whole process of cutting out of images. It is not difficult to learn to cut out images. You just need to do it step by step according to my method. Now let's practice and cut out the pictures together. Open the picture you want to modify. The entire model's picture is a background layer. I want to put my avatar over it. Find out which of my avatar I want to cover. Drag it onto the background layer. You will see that the size ratio of my avatar layer is different from that of the background layer. Right click and select quick selection tool. Roughly select the range of the avatar I will cover. It's just a rough selection now. I need to do fine processing later. The method I use now is to expand from inside out to the outside surroundings. Plus sign means pushing from the inside of the avatar to the outside surroundings. Press and hold the left button of the mouse to push out. If you think the selected range is too much, you can click the opposite direction here. Hold down the left button of the mouse. The minus sign means push back from the outside to the inside. You may decide to keep this flower or not. Depends on your favor. After choosing the approximate range, right click in the selection area and select layer via copy. It will copy out a new layer that will be used for fine processing. Thus created a new layer. Hide my original avatar layer. All we need to do now is to fine tune this new layer. Wipe off the excess area. Only keep my face and a small part of my hair. You will use this new layer to cover the model's face. If the screen is too small for you to modify, you can press and hold Alt key and turn the mouse wheel. Enlarge it. Please note that once you press Ctrl T, the size ratio of the avatar adjustment layer, the tilt angle can be adjusted arbitrarily. The position of the avatar layer can also be shifted arbitrarily. Now let's wipe off the excess area first. Right click and select Eraser Tool. Press and hold the left button of the mouse to move back and forth. Wipe off the excess portion. If the image is still too small, you can zoom in a bit. If the image to be modified is not in the center after zooming in, you can use the horizontal or vertical slider beside the main pane. Move the part that needs to be modified to the middle position. It will be easier to do. Now we continue to wipe off the excess portion. You can't be rushed. Must be patient. Especially the closer to the cheek. You have to be more careful.
When retouching the cheek, we have to enlarge it again. Press and hold Alt key, and turn the scroll wheel in the middle of the mouse. Enlarge it a bit. Because we use the chin as a reference point. So this part must be touched up very delicately. Continue to wipe off the excess along the face carefully. This part is more difficult to control. You have to be careful when you hold down and move the left button of the mouse. Don't wipe off the cheek. If you are not confident, you can use the method of clicking the mouse. Wipe it off click by click. Try to delete the black edge. Click on the mouse point by point near the cheek. Wiping off little by little is the most effective and accurate method. If you hold down the left mouse button and drag on the edge of the cheek, it will be more difficult to control. If you are not careful, you will also wipe off the cheek. What if you accidentally rub the cheek? I rubbed away a little on the cheek like this position. There is a method to remedy. You can press Ctrl Z to restore. I accidentally rubbed it away on my cheek again. You can press Ctrl Z repeatedly to restore step by step. If you think it is not refined enough, you can press and hold Alt key, and turn the mouse wheel. Zoom it bigger and do it. The cheek is almost retouched. Then press and hold Alt key, and turn the mouse wheel to zoom out. Next, press Ctrl T. I want to adjust the size and tilt angle of the avatar. The size of the avatar should be as close as possible to the model's avatar. It's best to just cover its original face completely. You can paste the avatar you want to cover next to model's avatar. Adjust while comparing. If the avatar is shrunk too small, make it bigger. Try to adjust the tilt angle to be the same as the original. Then cover the avatar. We want to use the chin as a reference point. The position of the chin is as close as possible to the model's chin. Is it close to completion so far? But we have to tidy up the hair's portion. So that can achieve better results. This part of the hair is too prominent. I will delete it later. In addition, 
you can click here at any time to turn off the avatar layer. Compare with the model's avatar in the background layer. When you want to modify the covered avatar, open the new layer again. I have said many times. The size, position, and tilt angle of the avatar can be adjusted arbitrarily. For example, after covering it, if you think the neck is too long or out of proportion, you can lower the position of the avatar. You can also move out and in. Compare the position and size of the both faces. Place it until you think it's suitable. Don't underestimate these steps. If you want to cut out a perfect picture, it's valuable to spend a little more time in this area. If you are satisfied with the size and position of the avatar, you can continue to trim the part of the hair. This part of the hair is too prominent. I wipe it off. I don't want blue headdress either. Delete it. I want the model's hairstyle. Try to wipe off my own hair. You may decide whether you want this flower or not. Depends on your favor. If you want to keep your own flower, this part needs to be handled very carefully. I decided not to reserve for the time being. Wipe it off. When you rub to here, you see that the model's original ear has been exposed here. The purpose of our cutout is to try not to show the model's face and ears. Press Ctrl Z to restore it step by step. Only a small part of the flowers are left here. It doesn't look pretty. Of course you can fill in some colors by yourself. For example, fill with black color as part of the hair or copy some small jewelries to use as headwear. Another way is to press Ctrl Z. Step by step to restore the flowers just now. If there are too many steps to restore, you can directly click History. Go directly to find the number of steps just now. To restore the flower just now you erased. If the space between the petals is too small, it is not convenient to modify. You can adjust the diameter of the eraser tool here. Make it smaller to decorate. Turn off or turn on the layer to cover the avatar. Constant comparison, constant modification. Okay. Now it is done. This is my face. But it seems that the whole body is my own appearance. Is this picture very beautiful? This is the whole process of cutout images. If you have any questions, Please leave a message to me. Dear friends, I have demonstrated the whole process of cutting out just now. Do you think the cutout picture is perfect? Strictly speaking, 
the cutout picture is indeed very beautiful. But not too perfect. If you want to be seamless, you need to do a little bit of work. Why do I think it is not perfect? I'll sell it here first. If you want to know why. And how to make it more perfect. Please continue to watch my next video. If you think my video is done well, then please give me a like. Leave a message by the way. Help me to subscribe and open the jingle next to it. And share the video. Thank you all. Goodbye.